Good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday today. I have a question for you. We've been talking about figures of speech. Can you guess what animal the Bible compares Christians to? Well, somebody might think maybe a lion big and strong or an elephant, a very big animal or a tiger or a cheetah that's very fast. But no, actually the Bible doesn't compare us to that. Do you know the Bible actually compares us to sheep? And sheep are an unusual animal because in one way sheep are kind of ordinary. They're not the strongest. They're not the biggest. But the Bible compares us to sheep. And it even says sometimes sheep tend to wander away and sheep tend to get in trouble. And sheep need to be watched over and cared for. And do you know who watches over and cares for sheep? Well, the Bible tells us that a shepherd does. A shepherd is a man or a woman who takes care of sheep. And a shepherd has a rod and they have a staff. I have a little rod here with me today. It's probably not exactly like the rod a shepherd would have, but it would be similar to what a shepherd would have. And the Bible says that when you believe in Jesus, you have a shepherd. Who do you think that shepherd is? Well, if you guess Jesus, you're right. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the good shepherd. And the good shepherd watches over the sheep and he protects the sheep and he feeds the sheep and he cares for the sheep. And you know, the Bible even says that the sheep have enemies like a wolf or a bear that might want to hurt the sheep. But the shepherd will protect the sheep from his enemies. Today I want to read in the Gospel of John where Jesus talks about himself as a shepherd. And first of all, he talks about some of our enemies too. He says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Now here's the key verse. Listen in John 10 in verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In other words, Jesus people are like sheep and Jesus is like a shepherd. And he says he lays down his life for the sheep. Just like a shepherd would go out and fight the enemy. Jesus will fight the enemy. And our greatest enemy is the devil. And this verse says, he who is a hired hand and not the shepherd, who is not the owner of the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, which means runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He says if somebody doesn't really love the sheep, he doesn't stick around to protect them. He runs away to protect himself. But it says, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd and I know my own and my own know me. And he doesn't flee, but he fights the wolf or fights the bear. Just like a shepherd would take a staff and drive away a wolf or a bear, Jesus says that he drives away the enemy. And you know, the greatest way he did that is it says he lays down his life for the sheep. And he laid down his life on the cross. Because on the cross, he paid the penalty for our sins. And when he paid the penalty for our sins, the devil has nothing to accuse us of. And we can be forgiven. So I want you to think of two things today. That if you're a believer in Jesus, you're one of his sheep. And then I want you to think the second thing, Jesus is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep which means he fights our enemies and loves us and cares for us and even died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins so we can be forgiven. He's the good shepherd. He said, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I want you to pray with me and we're going to thank Jesus for being our good shepherd 
and I want you to pray and say, Oh, Jesus, I trust you as my Savior. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are the good shepherd. We thank you that you died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. And right now, Lord, we ask you to watch over us and protect us. And Lord, we trust in you as our Savior. We believe and trust that you died on the cross to pay the penalty for all of our sins. We thank you for the free gift of eternal life. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the Good Shepherd. Amen.